Hello, Bidgets. Oh, I forgot my cape. I almost forgot my apron. Y'all wanted a cinched waist. I'll show you a cinched waist. No, I've not become Post Malone yet. My Twitch stream decided to screw me over by making me put temporary tattoos on my face. So pardon my appearance. On today's episode of Frederick's Asian Kitchen, due to current COVID-19 situations, we do not have the ability to stockpile on diverse ingredients. So it's not gonna be an Asian kitchen. It's gonna be more of a Southern white mom edition because we're making an apple pie. I don't know about you guys, but my mom has never made me an apple pie. But I lived in the South for 14 years and God damn it, I want that fantasy of smelling an apple pie outside a window, randomly going to the house while the steam trails through my nose and somehow not being kidnapped. But today I'm gonna channel my Southern Christian white mom and that's on stereotyping. And we're gonna make a vegan apple pie. Why vegan? Well, because I want to feel like I'm being healthy in quarantine. My face is breaking out a lot and there's a lot of sugar in this household and I just want to feel healthy for a little bit. Don't. Don't tell me how many calories. So the recipe I have is by tasting. So you already know it's gonna be delicious. The first step is to make a crust. You're gonna need around this many ingredients for the pie crust. I'm not gonna list them all because you can see that in the description below. But yes, this is flour. My mom keeps it in a Marshall's bag. Don't judge her. She likes to be clean. Do I or do I not look like a mom trying to cook for their child right now? I'm like, I need to get this done before they come home from school or online school. <laughs> I also bought my mom this handheld food processor that she hasn't used at all. So, mom, I'm gonna use it. This is my gift now. First, we're gonna add flour, sugar, and salt to the food processor with an S blade. This is not going to mix well, is it? This is more meant for chopping, so I'm gonna not do that right now. We can use this another day. The only other processor I have is a blender, so if I'm not invited to the next shindig because of my cooking methods, I'll find a new mom group. Okay, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, spooned and leveled. I feel like this is already gonna go wrong. One teaspoon sugar. Ding. One four teaspoon of my dad was actually off by $100,000 on our FASTO account. So that's the reason I didn't get any aid from NYU. We're adding salt if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm just a little, little salty about it still. You know how I spent one year blaming myself? Well, now that's gone, but I'm still gonna go into debt no matter what. One fourth cup of vegan butter, cold. One fourth cup of vegetable shortening, cold. I don't know about you, but I had to look up what vegetable shortening was. Turns out it's literally coconut oil. Why are there so many names for cooking ingredients? Just call it what it is. Fourth cup, fourth, fourth cup, yep. There. Three to four tablespoons of ice water. One, two, three. Okay, I didn't measure that at all because I'm a professional and I don't need measurements. And I think you just blend this. Oh no, you're supposed to combine the dry ingredients for. Never mind. You know what? It's fine. Oh shoot, I'm so bad at this. Don't follow my instructions at all. I completely did this wrong. It's supposed to be dry ingredients mixed together, then the butter, and then add water. Not everything in the. Too late. Too late. How bad could it be? Three, two, one, go. Just did a bad thing. Oh, it could be very bad. Oh no, please. Cut the footage. Cut the footage. It's fine. Nothing's wrong yet. How much is a tablespoon? Wait. Aha, that's why. I needed much more water. Maybe the handheld was better the first time. Process for about 10 seconds until it looks like a coarse meal. When it begins to clump together, stop. Dump the dough on a lightly floured surface and shape it into a ball. Don't use your hands too much. It might warm up the dough. Hmm. It's already pretty warm because I'm using a blender. I'm gonna put a little bit more ice water in it. I'm also gonna follow the directions from now on. Oh, that's not what it's supposed to be. That's not what it's supposed to look like. I needed coarse. That's not coarse. That's not coarse, that's not coarse. You know what? I'm a professional and I can figure this out. Okay, lightly floured surface. Don't do this at home, by the way. This is very risky what I'm doing. Mmm, coarse. Coarse dough. We might have missed the mark, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I just wanted something to go right for once. Why didn't I follow the directions? Why am I so bad at listening? That's not coarse! Maybe if I... No. Oh no, ma'am. This is not gonna solve it at all. It's not supposed to be wet. That's the main problem here. We need about this much more flour. Oh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse, Frederick. Stop it. Just stop now. And I call myself a baker. Oh. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. I now know why the white moms didn't let me go to the shindig. It's because I fucking suck at cooking. Okay, it's not that sticky anymore, but it's also pretty warm. Maybe I can fix this by putting it in the fridge while I'm making the filling. Please fucking work, I don't have time to refilm. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it in a ball. I'm gonna take some saran wrap. Actually, I'm too lazy. I'm putting it in a Ziploc bag and I'm putting it in the freezer. 
It's supposed to be flaky and light, and it's not flaky and light. <laughs> this is gonna suck if you can't tell. Oh, it's so bad. It did say put it in plastic wrap and chill it for an hour, so that's my saving grace. Peel and core apples and thinly slice. That's gonna take for fucking ever. You know, I had a large bowl for this, but my mom's using it right now. For what? Why are there peanuts in here? But you need seven green apples, the zest of one lemon, and lemon juice of half a lemon. And then all of this stuff. These apples are kind of small, so I'm gonna use eight just in case. Peel and core. <laughs> this is what you guys go through? How do you peel an apple? Is this an apple peeler or is this just a razor? I'm so pissed off right now. My dad literally has this in the back. He didn't tell me. Oh, this is so easy. Now watch me somehow slice my arm off with this. Before anyone says you're wasting the peel, I'm gonna eat it after, okay? Because I fucking love green apples. And that's on peel it. I'm sorry, but it kind of sounds like a Chinese man who can't say period. So this apple is not perfectly peeled at all, just so you know. Maybe I can give you guys some nice ASMR. These apples are going to brown by the time I'm done because I have to core them still. Why do you have to peel it? What's the point? What do you hate about the fiber? Ooh, that was dangerously close to my finger. And I would like to keep those for a little bit longer, so. Starting to feel bad for the apples, watching their siblings, you know, get skinned alive. Like what, why are you going, <laughs> why is this flying everywhere? You want an arm workout? Do this. You want stress relief? Do this. I'm just picturing my professor's face. I'm kidding. I am totally kidding, you guys. All right, so after you killed two apples and their six children, you're gonna slice them. Down the middle, down the other middle, side, side. Eat this. Fun fact, I can eat all of an apple, except the seeds. Ever see someone eat an apple that thin? I don't really know how I should be slicing them. I don't have that machine that like does it for you. You know, I did say I love green apples, but I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them at the moment. I used to love them, and then when I got to college, I had one every day. I eventually almost started rejecting it from my body. But these ones are good. They're not like the, you know, the um, foamy ones. I don't know how to describe it. You know when it doesn't crunch, it just like sogs? That's disgusting. If God was real, he wouldn't make that a thing. Hear that? Beautiful. Amazing. I already hate it. <laughs> Why am I making an apple? Hi. I don't even like apples anymore. I still hate them. Do you see how many apples I have? How is that gonna fit on that stupid crust I made? <gasps> I forgot to skin one. Okay, you get to survive. They haven't browned yet. I think that's very impressive of me. I don't know how. Usually when I brown them to elementary school, they brown the moment I put them in my lunchbox. Explain how that happens. Oh my God, I need a break. Two very boring minutes later. After you've peeled and cored and sliced, you're gonna add two cups of sugar, the lemon zest, cornstarch, lemon juice, coconut oil, salt, cinnamon. Toss until they're all coated. Now, before anyone gets on me this time, I measured this in a solid measuring cup and I put it into the liquid one. They were about the same. So stop telling me this is only for liquid. It's versatile. Two cups, it's my whole bag. I said I wanted to lose weight. <laughs> Wait, 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 I don't trust this anymore. There's no way it's that much. Two cups? I'm gonna put a little less, cause that's a little bit insane for my body. I'm trying to diet. No, I'm not. Okay, you're gonna zest the lemon. This is the closest thing I have. Not today, nope, that's barely doing anything. I don't know, I, my mom doesn't have a zester. We don't zest. There's no zesting in this household. This is something that I bought for my mom and she never ended up using. All right, that's the max. This is not gonna do anymore. Half of a lemon. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's not Christian. This is not either. All you people doubting me for saying I eat lemons. All these people on TikTok saying like, oh, it's so sour. Try citric acid next time. That'll do it. <sighs> what a nice snack. I really like cinnamon, so I'm just gonna take the bigger end and... How much did you need? Oh, three teaspoons cinnamon. That's enough. I'm also gonna be original <laughs> and put maple syrup in here because I feel like it'll look good. I don't see how it could turn wrong. I also asked for one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, so I'm gonna put this in a small jar and warm it up in the microwave. Salt. Five tablespoons cornstarch. Oh, look at her. She's melted. Gorgeous. Actually, I'm gonna moisturize my lips with some of the... Okay, now we're gonna mix with a glove because I know what it's like to get lemon juice all over your hands and I don't like that feeling. Ooh, yeah. Yes. See that? Gorgeous. Oh, it smells decadent. I also feel like there's too much sugar. I really don't think you need two cups and I put like one and a half still. You trying to make me fat? Well, think again. I feel like you can just eat this by itself and it'd be pretty good. Like, look at that. That's gross. Now I was about to put that on my hand. Okay, let's do some of this. 
I think we're done. And now I just have to bake it. Roll out the disc of dough to about one inch thick, transfer to a pie dish and gently press on the side. All right, this is definitely chilled. Tell me how that is gonna fit in this little pan. I don't see how that's physically gonna work, but I'll trust you. I also don't see how that is gonna fit. Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. I'm sorry I doubted you, but I wanted it to be like, I wanted the checker pattern. I'm not gonna get the checker pattern today, aren't I? Really need to roll this out because, oh my God, that's taking forever. That's much better. Oh, I do have extra. I have a lot of extra actually. This is great, I can tear this off. This is my extra dough for the cross section. I'm actually gonna put this in the oven and have it preheat to 350 because they suggest you cook this a little bit in order for it to get crispy. And I don't want a soggy crust. Don't mind me, I'm just taking out the storage. I also don't believe in preheating. I think that's stupid. Tell me the science behind it. I don't think it should exist. Why can't I just place it in and have it heat up? Why do I gotta risk burning myself while putting it in and wasting all that heat? All right, so while I'm waiting, I'm going to figure out how to make this into checkers. I think you got, you got five minutes before that preheat. I think I'm gonna roll it out and then slice it. So lay it flat and then just slice little strips like this. I think that looks good. Crosshatch, that's what you call it, right? I'm also going to baste it in some butter before it goes in the oven, you know, to get it golden. Just appreciate this moment. Okay, I only had enough to make six. It's fine. I'm not mad. Just. I'm not mad. Okay, I'm gonna warm up the rest of this butter in order to baste it. This one is not loved properly. I need to fix it. Welcome back to my kitchen, y'all. Whoa, I did not think I had that inside of me. I'm reverting back. I've never basted anything, so I'm very excited today. Oh, what it feels to be a turkey being basted. Actually, I'd be dead. I smell burning. Hold on, what's going on back there? Okay, I don't know what's burning, but I don't like the smell. Oh, wow. I'm ready. Pour this in. Oh, that's not enough room. Oh, <gasps> that's not enough room at all. What, are, are we kidding? There's not enough room for these apples. There's too many apples. <gasps> There's too many apples. I physically cannot fit this all. No, 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 I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna save you for another batch. Okay, pause, pause. It's preheated. I'm gonna put this on. Oh, wow. Oh my God, it's cute. <gasps> I'm gonna baste it now. Is this like putting a face mask on a Pie, like you're about to be beautiful and in my stomach. There's a lot of extra, so no one said I was supposed to be healthy. Who said you need to be healthy during quarantine? Guys, oh my God, she's kind of cute though. Okay, back in the oven for an hour. An hour? Why not 30 minutes? Ooh. I had to wait a fucking hour for this. Once again, tell me why I can't just turn it up to 700 and do it for 30 minutes. Isn't that basic math? <laughs> I know there's probably a really good reason why, but I just want to know. All right, I'll see you in one hour while I eat dinner because it's currently 10 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything all day. I don't know what to do with this. Tomorrow. Much later. Look at her. <laughs> So I didn't eat it the day I made it because I wanted to cool down and it was like midnight by the time I finished. But look who's already taken a bite out of it. They are shady, but I'm gonna take a bite now. It's actually pretty good. The dough isn't chewy, but it could be flakier. If I have extra apples, I'm gonna see if I can perfect it. I think this tastes great. Gordon Ramsay level. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you want me to cook more stuff, let me know. Oh, if you're wondering why I do that, it's because I was washing my face. <laughs> Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more videos every week, comment what food you want me to make next week, turn on those notifications, and donate to the charity. And as always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three.